All right, so in class we've been talking about how to evaluate functions given a certain input. So, for example, if we have a function f of x equals x squared plus 1, and then all of that divided by x, what the function f does to that input is that it squares it, adds 1, takes all of that, and then divides it by x. So let's just run through an example. So let's say that we have f of 3, where 3 is our input here. Then what f does to that input is that it takes our input, squares it, adds 1, and then divides everything by the input, which is 3. So let's see, 3 squared plus 1 is 10, divided by 3, 10 divided by 3. So let's see, 3 goes into 10 3 times, because 3 times 3 is 9. Then we get a remainder of 1 third, so that would be 3.3 repeating. Now let's say that we wanted to use technology to check our answer. So what we're going to do is that we are going to pull out our TI-89. We'll do another video on a TI-84 in just a second. So we're going to pull out our TI-89 and we're going to turn them on. All right, so here we go, our TI-89. And what we're going to do after we turn it on is that we're going to go to our y equals screen. So you see this F1 here? Well, it says y equals, but to get to y equals, we need to hit this star key here and then hit F1. The star key and your second button, which is this bright yellow one here, you can think of those as like a shift and an alt key for your calculator. So now we have F1 right here, and that F1 you can think of that as another way of saying f. So y1 is going to be the name of our function. All right, so we want to input our function here. So what we're going to do, well, before I put x squared in, notice that this whole top part is grouped together. So I need to tell my calculator that it's grouped together. So the only way to tell my calculator that is by putting that top part in parentheses. We're going to hit the parentheses button, which is right here. Then we're going to hit X. And we need to square X. So we're going to hit this caret key here. X to the second. Then we're going to hit plus 1. And since we're done talking about this top part here, we're going to close the parentheses. All right, now what we're going to do with that top part is after we take our input, square it, and add 1, we're going to divide, divide by x. All right, now that that is all entered, we want our calculator to remember it, so we're going to hit the Enter button. All right, so it's going to show up exactly how it shows up here. If it doesn't show up the way you want it, you can hit the Up button, hit Enter, and then you can go back through here and edit as you like. You can hit the Over keys, find out where you want to edit, and you can hit this back button to delete. But we want to keep that X, so we'll leave it where it is. Now we want to get out of this function editing thing. So what we're going to do is that we're going to hit the second button, that's that bright yellow one, and where it says escape, we're going to hit that to get back to our home screen. Okay, once we're back in our home screen, well we want to figure out what F of 3 is. What is f of 3? So remember, our function in our calculator, it's not called f, it's called y1. So you're going to hit the y button, and then you're going to hit 1. And what did we want to input into this? Well, we wanted our input to be 3. So we're going to hit parentheses, 3, and parentheses. So what is y1, or f, of 3? So let's figure it out. Let's hit enter and we get 10 thirds. That's awesome, that's what we wanted. Now let's say that on your TI-89, let's say that you don't want this fraction, let's say that you actually want the decimal. Well, before you hit enter, to figure out what Y1 of 3 is, go ahead and hit your star button, that's that little green uh, diamond there, and then hit enter. And what that will do is it will give you an approximation. 
All right, let's try it for these other ones. Let's figure out what y1 of negative 2 is. Now, be careful, though, because on your calculator, you can see here we have a minus button. But then here we have its own, it has its own negative button. So go ahead and hit negative 2 and then hit enter. And we get negative 5 halves or negative 2.5. Great. All right, let's do it for one more. Let's do it for this guy over here, which is 0.7. So we're going to have y1 of 0.7 equals, and we get 2.12857. Great, so let's go ahead and write these down. So f of negative 2, that's negative 5 halves is negative 2.5, and when we entered 0.7, let's see, we got 2 point, and let's round it to two decimal places, 2.13. Now this is a great way, and I can't emphasize this enough, of checking your answer. So when you guys are doing this in your homework, or on exams, or quizzes, I actually want you to practice plugging these things in by hand. Okay, So plug these in by hand, and then check your work by using your calculator. So the reason I want you to do that is because when you get to calculus, and also as we move through this class, you are going to be doing things that your calculator won't evaluate. So, for example, let's say I asked you to evaluate f of x plus 3. Okay, so we know that f of x plus 3 would be, well, what does f do? It's going to take the input, which is x plus 3, and then it squares it, plus 1, and then we're going to divide that whole thing by the input, which is x plus 3. Great. So this is the sort of thing that some of your calculators, well, most of your calculators, won't do for you. And I want you guys to get comfortable with doing this, especially when you get into calculus, you're going to have to figure out how to do this by hand. Some of your calculators, maybe even the PI-89, might do it for you, but if you get a little bit more complicated, um, you need to figure out how to do it by hand, and also, if you figure out how to do it by hand, you can check your calculator, because your calculator isn't always right. So, takeaway, do it by hand, but check it using your calculator.